Genetics uh, has been shown to make you know, quite a large impact on the nutritional aspects of, of animal products. The main impact that we see is more on a, a macro level where there are a lot of differences between breeds and you know, within animals of the same breed on aspects of how, an, how quickly animals grow and therefore the relative amounts of, of meat versus bone or, or other products which are not you know, suitable for human consumption. So therefore, th this is the area where it really imp impacts on, on both the nutrition and also you know, impact on the environment. When you're looking at the individual nutrients for you know, a given quantity of meat or milk, uh, there also is a differences among breed, are differences among breeds in the you know, relative concentrations of fat versus protein and, and other components in meat and within milk you'll see differences in the concentrations of, of fat, protein, and other milk solids relative to the amount of water. Um, when looking at more precise information on, say, micronutrients and so forth, unfortunately I'd have to say that this is an area that really needs more research work to be done. Although there is, you know, there we have some studies where they show some differences in fatty acid composition uh, some perhaps in the amino acid composition of different meats according to the breed. In general, in the so-called developed countries, uh, the breeds which are common there are those which have been selected for higher productivity, higher uh, efficiency of selection. Whereas in, the de in developing countries, uh, these animals have been selected for a wider range of, of uh, traits because they often serve more purposes than just production of food. But as we see in some of these countries, you know, the need for increased food security, the need to increase efficiency of production, I would see therefore, you know, this is uh, the difference in impact. That, you know, in improving the efficiency of production will be uh, more important in, in the developing countries. Uh, I think in both countries, the, as far as the nutritional content uh, of uh, the meat or milk based on a, you know, a, a per gram uh, consumed uh, basis, yeah, generally I would say in the developing countries, you know, the, the importance on, on a higher concentration is, is greater because you know, in these countries they have less capacity right now to or less uh, income with which to produce you know, and purchase the, the higher cost products. So that may be one aspect that's, that's more important than develop, developing countries. But I think overall this in, increase in efficiency of productivity is, is probably a little bit more of a concern in those countries.